and it's been rough going for those who were able to stick it out. But now there's a bill in the state legislature that's designed to help those farmers. Mike Avery has the details. Thousands of contaminated cows were buried here near Mayo. They came from all over the state, including this farm near Ithaca. Leroy Roseland was using Farm Bureau feed on his 50 milk cows when his milk production started to drop off and the cows began to die. He didn't know the feed was contaminated until it was too late. I don't think it was our fault that, uh, that we, we got into the predicament that we did. We didn't know anything about it. It was covered up. Leroy's wife, Arlene, didn't want to admit their cows and source of income were in trouble. You, you just hoped the problem would go away, and, and of course, it finally did. But it didn't go away completely. The Roselands lost about $35,000 because of the contamination. They took out a state loan to cover it. There's a bill now in the legislature that would forgive their loan and over a hundred others like it. I don't think that uh, the, the money that we're asking for forgiveness is, uh, is uh, any more than we have coming. But the problems faced by the family are not just economic. The Roselands drank the milk from their contaminated cows and they ate some of them too. They're concerned, but they're not going to get too worried about it because they say there's nothing they can do about it now. The PBB contamination has put a strain on the family to the point where their son John doesn't know if he wants to stay on the farm. It makes it harder for a young person to look at farming optimistically and want to do it. Mike Avery, News 5, near Ithaca. Life is